A long time ago, on the island of Sodor, there was a railway known as the North Western. The smallest engine working on the main line was Edward. He helped shunting trucks and coaches in the yard for the larger engines. The biggest engine on the railway was Gordon. He loved pulling the express, but he didn't much care for his other jobs. Got you this time, Stepney. You'll make very fine scrap iron indeed. Buffer him, Bert. Hey guys, did you hear about what happened with Tim today? Cora told me he was getting all worried about having to take Smudge's goods train, and a silly slate wagon didn't make the situation any better. Huh. More help means more dirt, and more dirt means more fun. I'm Alfie. Well, Atlas, this is goodbye. I knew it wouldn't stay in service forever. I don't know how long it will be before you're broken up, but all I can say is, I hope you go out on a high note. Who goes there? Hold on, is that? It can't be. Is it? It is. It's my little friend Thomas. Oh, look at you now. Banner? What do you need a banner for? <gasps> oh, look at Mr. Lidy Die, eh? You're certainly going up in the world, my friend. Why, sure I know the way. Straight down those tracks and turn left at the junction. Right, now remember, it's left at the next junction. No, left. You said right, whereas I said left when really I was right and you were left, right? Uh, oh, now you got me in a muddle. Oh, right oh, Thomas. Or was that left? Well, you haven't said a single word to me either. Thomas, stop telling me what to do. You are a very bossy engine. Do you mind? These are mine, so go away. Stop, you're making me all giddy. Hold on, are there two of you? I might have known it. Never mind, call me Boko. I'm sorry I didn't understand about the trucks. Maddening is the word. Stupid nonsense. I wouldn't have brought them if I'd known. I would have had a breakdown or something. Pah! Enjoyment's all your engines live for. Taking the petrol from the tanks of our workers. Come the revolution. Railways will be ripped up. Cars and coaches will trample their remains. Free the roads. Free the roads from railway tyranny. Come on, come on. Why aren't you trucks where you should be? How can I be loaded if you dawdle up there, eh? Save me. I'm drowning. Ah, I see you're one of us. Very well. It was 1904. I was put in charge of the Ocean Mail Special from Mill Bay Docks, Plymouth to Bristol. I was descending on the Wellington Bank in Somerset and I hit it. A hundred miles an hour. I became the first steam engine to travel at those sort of speeds. Scholars today are still debating whether or not I actually did it. You two are useless little bugs. If you put these trucks on the inside lines, then I wouldn't have so far to travel. These ships can't be kept waiting. They have important cargo. If they miss the tide, they will be delayed at the docks. You should look up to ships and show more respect. You are, after all, only little. What he means is, we'll get you back on the rails just as soon as we can. I tricked you before. There was nothing wrong with me at the junction. I just didn't want to pull them trucks. I'm a really lazy engine. <laughs> You'll be laughing at the side of your boilers soon, silly steamies. <laughs> 
ああ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>
There's something loose in his boiler. I'll take a look at the next station. I'm Jack the front loader. I can load and unload and carry lots of things. Hello, I'm James, the number five red engine. I'm the brightest red engine on Sodor. Mind my paintwork. Hello, I'm Jeremy and I'm a jet plane. It is. I can go anywhere I want. Flying is the most fun in the world. Well, from the air, I see the wonderful sights of Sodor all at once. Thomas, a summer storm is on its way. The children's picnic will be ruined. Hello everyone. Is there anything your good friend Jerry can help you with? You know me, always trying to help out whenever I can. Hold on, I'm confused. What does the story about a giant beanstalk have anything to do with me? We're going to need to stop here. We're picking up a passenger. It's old Finnegan himself, Mr Murphy. He's coming to take a ride. Invisibility on! Hello, I'm Mighty. And together, we're Mighty Mac. We've always worked in the shunting yards. No, it's this way. Then why are the holiday makers over there? You were in front yesterday. It's my turn today. We have to get there before dark, so we'll have to work extra hard. Pull harder, Mac. You're lagging. For you, maybe, but there's a reason I'm called Mighty. Come on, Mac. Pull. I wouldn't need to go this fast if not for you. We'll be late. This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't stopped pulling. You want me to break? So be it. This is your fault. You're the one that wanted me to break. Mac, I'm sorry I was being rude to you. And I'm sorry for being careless. Let's start first thing tomorrow. You're a chatty lot. Please, I want some peace and quiet. I don't want to share a shed with chatterboxes. Hello there. My name is Neville. What's yours? I'm so sorry. I forgot about going slow there. I wanted to get away from that engine. Does that mean we could be friends? Hello, mate. Scrap gave you a bit of fright, did it? Is that so? Well, aren't you the big engine? Reg is the name, and I'm the scrapyard crane. Now there's a surprise. What do you think of our shoot? Good, isn't it? I've been here all the time. I'm Rex, and you, I'm sure, are Duck. That's easy. There's only one great western engine in these parts. Branch line? I think that's where I'm meant to be working. Oh, hello there. You must be Annie and Clarabelle. Oh, I'm Ryan, and I'll be your engine today. Morning, Thomas. You're up early. Did I see you out pushing a sailboat? Oh, I guess it was a dream then. I was still half asleep. Filling up with coal. The fat controller sent me to Brendan Docks to collect some trucks. Oh, sorry, did you want to go first? Oh, no, it's fine, Thomas. I think I might have just had some bad coal, that's all. You're lucky you used the other hopper this morning. Fizzling fireboxes, where's that smoke coming from? Thank you for helping me with that burning dynamite. What you did was so brave. I'm sorry if I got you in trouble again. Look, why don't you sleep in the shed tonight, Thomas? There's plenty of room in there. I can't sleep. I keep thinking about what Thomas was worried about. If he's in trouble, 
He might need my help. Hold back. Hold back and pass the word to the others. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I'm coming apart. We heaved until the old freighter finally caught a tide. Ah, it's good to be useful. Yo ho ho, and a bucket of prawns, the tiller spins, and the captain yawns. Warning, sir. Samson here, at your service. Look, just because I got lost when I first came to the island, everyone thinks I'm going to make another mistake. But I know what I'm doing. Hello, I'm Sir Topham Hatt. I'm the director of the railway. Nothing is more important to me than my engines being really useful. And that means always being on time. Listen, Dookie, he worries about a few spills. Ha <laughs> ha! Mm. I'm the Duke and Duchess's private engine. I take them everywhere. I have plenty of water. Who cares? Why didn't I listen? Yes, I must have a leaky tank. I've been around a long time. And I wasn't always this rusty either. I remember when railways didn't have any engines and the trains were pulled by horses. We steam engines were the latest thing and people were right about us. <laughs> we didn't always work right or at all. We were brand new and experimental but we soon proved we were much faster and stronger than horses and I was lightning fast. Pew! They called me the Rocket. We used to have races. People were lined up to watch. I went to work at the mines and later at the docks. My pistons were pumping. I could pull four wagons at one time. <laughs> oh, but engines have changed a little since then. You new engines are so fast and so strong. <laughs> and that's why I don't work anymore. <laughs> Hello, I'm Terence. I'm ploughing. They're not ugly, they're caterpillars. I can go anywhere, I don't need rails. I hope you'll be sensible now, Thomas. But you've been a very naughty engine. I won't have rudeness to my visitors. No excuses, thank you, Bert. I'm ashamed of you. Go to your shed. Hello, I'm Thomas the Tank Engine, and I'm the number one blue engine. I work on the Fat Controllers Railway on my very own branch line with my two coaches, Annie and Clarabelle. And every day, I make sure I'm a really useful engine. Don't you worry, Toby. Come tomorrow's trials, I'll pass with flying colours. Then you'll see how an effective engine gets through life. Hello, I'm Whiff. My job is to collect the rubbish on the island of the Sodor. It's a smelly job, but someone has to do it. Nice to meet you, Thomas. That's right, sir. Early days. Goodbye, Thomas. Uh, Thomas, uh, I was thinking, how does Mr. Conductor travel here? By gold dust. But if there's a lost engine, maybe there's a lost railway too. Mr. Conductor's railway. The journey gets bumpy and bumpier. That's what Mr. Conductor told me. Oh, he, he talked about buffers in his sleep. Buffers run to the end of the railway. I think that's how he travels here. On a secret railway. Belonging to the lost engine. Percy, you are clever. Oh, my wheels are starting to feel very funny. I think Diesel's around here. I'm sorry, you two. Diesel heard every word you said. I'm going to go after him to see what he does next. You two better carry on and get the mail delivered. Oh, you're very brave, Toby. Oh, Diesel won't bother with an old engine like me. 
He thinks I'm very useless.